you could take this opportunity to pull back and leave combat immediately. On the other hand, chasing down a few more dread would rally your fighters and save a few lives. You won't have time to rest or change your party, but the chance to loot your enemies might even reveal items that they took from their previous victims. Kill a few more as they flee. Kill a few more as they flee. I don't know, like, for some reason my mic does not pick up Fs. Oh shit, Mogur is like legit dead this time around. Uh, can this guy summon more? No. Yes, you can. This guy can also summon more. <sighs> okay. Well, move this guy up. I kind of regret my decision right now. Yeah, we're going to actually use Bring the Pain. Can we use Bring the Pain? Does he have... Yeah, he does. Why, why can't I use Bring the Pain? He has the willpower necessary. Yes, use it. Use, use bring the pain. Use, use bring, use bring, bring the. Okay, don't use bring the pain. I guess. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh no! Don't attack him. Why would you attack him? He's like such a nice guy. Never did nothing to nobody. Uh, we're out of willpower now. This is this is a bad spot. I, I kind of regret my decision right now. I'm gonna be honest with you. However, Luden is a motherfucking badass here. Fortunately. Yeah, I wish I could use Bring the Pain. Oh, I did use Bring the Pain. Okay. Can you not attack? Can you? Oh, this is the worst freaking thing ever. You're like just out of range to do any kind of attack. Well, do this. Can you? Yeah, that hurt a little bit, I guess. Probably stung him. It's like a scratch on the uh, rear. Okay. Well, at least you should be able to attack, I think. Because this is like, this guy's our main source of damage dealing. So with 2 HP, this guy's not going to be able to deal a whole heck of a lot of damage. Even if he does go after our archer or whatever. Uh, we're just going to focus on taking down this guy's armor a little bit while we can. And hey, he walked over the coals, which is nice. So right now we've got Irik who can go. And he's probably going to pick up this kill. Uh, unless he cannot. He's probably not actually going to pick up this kill because his damage is so low. Yeah. Well, we can pick it up the next turn. That should be fine. Um, yeah, one damage is not anything to really worry about. Is Bring the Pain a passive ability? If so, that's really good. That's really, really good. And no, we don't want to do that. We just want to attack him normally. And yeah, pick up the kill. Nice. We're going to have to find some way to get uh, Burn Ver Learn over to the other side of the battlefield because it's we're in a bad spot right now. However... Our archer somehow cannot deal a lot of damage for some reason. Adjacent dredge. Oh, what is her ability? Bonus damage to targets who have lost armor if the archer has not moved. Oh, he hasn't lost armor. That's why. Well, that's okay. Um, what we could do is probably just... Sledge and burn again, I guess? I mean, why not, right? Do it on that corner, and then if when, whenever he moves, like, he's just going to take more damage, which is nice. Yeah, I mean, he did some... Oh, sh is she dead? No, she just, like, fell out. No, she's dead. Wow, she has really low HP. I was not expecting that to happen. That's okay. Uh, you can't do anything this turn. So just sit around. Please don't take a lot of damage. Well, you are taking down their armor pretty nicely. Uh, so, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm okay with sacrificing this guy's life to deal a little bit of armor damage to these guys. Yeah, it's not so bad. And then we can come in with a Burner Burnson and pick up the kill. That should be fine. This guy is kind of scary. His armor is out of control. But we can deal a little bit of damage. You know, take him out slow. And he's going after this guy, which is nice. And he deflected the attack. Dude, Moger, you're a, you're you're a, you're an MP. You're the you're the real MVP, Moger. Okay. Let's let's that's how that meme goes, right guys? Memes, I understand them. I'm still hip with the kids. Yeah, don't walk on the fire. He's not going to move, probably. So. You could just go for the... Uh, go for the armor. Like, I mean, either way, you're doing th three damage. You might as well go for the health, right? That's my life. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, pick up the kill. Nice. So, I kind of wish Moger has, like, better abilities as a tank. But, you know what? This is fine. I kind of want to avoid killing him, actually. I mean, avoid 
getting Mogur killed. So we're gonna end our turn here. Although they're probably still gonna be able to No, they're going after uh they're going after this dude, which is actually pretty great for me. Uh we're gonna go straight up here, deal a nice amount of damage. Because this guy has no armor left, so he's taking some serious damage every turn. Which is good. Our hero here is the, not not in the best of shape, but that's okay. We can deal seven damage to this guy? That's so good. Yeah, I think this is a better choice right now. Deal seven damage to this guy. Just straight up. Now he's pretty much not going to be dealing a lot of damage. And we can have Mogur come in and uh, try and pick up the kill. Oh no, you're summoning a dude. Don't summon dudes. I wonder if Mogur's actually going to be able to pick up the kill. I don't know. Uh, we need to... This guy's ability is... <sighs> I don't feel good about doing this, guys. I don't feel good about that. But I did what was necessary from my point of view. Okay, kill this motherfucker. You don't have... Oh my god, this is the worst possible situation. I really wish this was not based on kills. It's like, I need to kill this guy. There's no... Yeah, because otherwise Mogur is dead. Probably. So we've got to do this. Yeah. And he summoned the dude. Uh, that's fine. The dude's gonna take a while to get here. Fortunately... We can uh, deal a decent amount of damage to this dredge. Loot him. Oh, nice deflect. I appreciate that a whole lot. <laughs> We're just sort of wailing on them with really, really low damage. Uh, Mogur, get get your ass over here. Get ready to fight, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy is probably dead. I think. Uh, yeah. Well, let's get as close as we can to the action this turn, and then next turn we can get uh, Eirik on the action. Yeah, unfortunately, Bercy died. But we should be able to kill this guy sooner or later. Preferably sooner. Oh, he's going after Eirik, which is not bad. And he went for armor, which I'm really glad about. Honestly, and, and, and Mogur, can you not get the kill? You have, like, so little damage, Mogur. Why do you... Ah, oh. Well... Just do this, I guess. We can pick up the kill next turn on Eirik. Or on somebody else. Doesn't really matter. I want to actually let Mogri get the kill if I can. So I'm going to have Eirik actually go over here and try and whittle the, down this guy's armor because we're going to need to do that sooner or later. We're in a pretty bad spot right now, um, all things considered. You know, we're not in the greatest of positions. Ludin, can you hit both of these guys? Let's try. We're going to reduce their armor. No, I thought these guys have splinters. Whatever. Get the kill. Nice. Oh god, Luden, please don't die. Eirik. You need to you need to be a man right now, Eirik. This one dredge is gonna kill us all. Like, you have to go for his HP at this point. And he deflected. This is not good. Uh, well, you can go for armor because you deal two armor points, so that's good. Luden is dead. Uh, this is getting tense, you guys. We might actually lose this encounter because of my stupidity. But that's okay. We're, we're finally starting to deal some, uh, deal some health damage here. I think we have to go for health at this point. Like, there's no... We have to reduce his damage output as much as humanly possible. Yeah. I think this is the right idea. Like, we're just wailing on each other at this point. Dealing one point of damage to each other. But we have two guys on our side. Uh, this guy only has the one. So, yeah, we should be okay. Unless, like, criticals or something. Nice deflect. I appreciate that a whole lot. And, yeah, we're going to go for the attack here. Good, good job. We're going to actually go for the armor now. I think we're in a better position, and it, uh, getting in the armor is good. I don't think it really matters at this point. I think we're fine either way. But, uh, yeah, we're going to win. It's going to be a close win. We've lost a lot in this encounter, but we're going to win. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was not... That was not the greatest thing that ever happened. But okay. That was uh, that was intense. Minus three fighters, minus eight barrel, whatever. Whew! That was, uh, that was close. <laughs> that was close. At least we got a ton of renown out of that. That's like, uh, that's nice. Only two guys survived. Only Eirik and Mogur. But our morale is great. So that's good.
and we can move on now and see where we can stand. Mogur comes to you, sporting a dour expression. There are more warriors than usual claiming illness lately. I don't think they're faking it. I've seen them vomiting or stumbling around. Humans seem to be suffering from something too. Are we pushing too hard? I can't prove anything, but I think some of the rations may have been poisoned. Before you can respond, he continues. Don't spread paranoia. Wait, I've been reading the wrong- God damn it. <laughs> Don't spread paranoia. It may be nothing. I found nothing wrong with the food and most of us aren't ill. What do you think? Uh... Might not be food. Keep some trusted Varl on watch. Sure. Mogur swears a few Varl to secrecy and has them keep a close eye on their supplies. Okay. Luden has been sending some scouts ahead, quicker and more nimble than your Varl. What? How can somebody be more nimble than Varl? One rushes back just as you cross the hilltop, out of breath. Dredge! That direction! You overhear him tell Luden. About a day away, they found a village. You ask what they're doing. Tearing the place apart, he says. Maybe a thousand of them or more, looking for gods, know what? This will be a bigger fight than usual. Luden is, unchar Luden is uncharacteristically silent, waiting to see what you say. Um, draw some of them forward and split them? Get it closer before making a move? Sure, let's go with this option. You send a small group of shield bangers to get their attention. They do. Half a day later, many dredge are giving you chase up a hill in their plodding sort of way. You get ready to lay waste. More war, huh? You take a quick head count, there must be at least 482 of them. We are in an advantageous position. We have 458 Varl, 182 fighters. So we're in a pretty decent spot. Uh, I wish I had actually camped to level up my fighters. But that's okay. Uh, that's, that's a bad habit of mine, but that's alright. CHARGE! RUSH INTO BATTLE! <laughs> alright, let's do it. I really wish we could hold them up. Well, uh, this guy's injured, this guy's injured, so we should probably trade out one of these injured people. Let's trade out Bercy. Let's trade out Bercy for Gunnel. Yeah. Alright, let's go. We trade out injured people, that way we can have a healthier team and people who deal a decent amount of damage. What the frick is up with this, like, party placement scheme here? This is really strange. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like this. Well, it's okay. Uh... Oh, I see. There's a bunch of dredge over there, too. This is, uh, this is bad. This is bad. This is, like, really, really bad. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it one bit. Um, shit. It's actually really bad. We don't want to have Hakon hold off this end, because he's, 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 he has low HP, right? So we should have somebody with more HP. <laughs> there. You know what we can do? We can have Luden back them up here. I think this should be alright. I think this should be alright. Let's go. You know what, Hakon? You can go up here. Deal a massive amount of damage. Thank you. The initiative is like so important in this game. It's, it's crazy how important it is. And you know what? You can actually come down here and defend here. Yeah, bring the pain. Bring the pain! It doesn't actually work. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. No, please don't arch! Oh, why would you hit the archer, man? She's She never did nothing to nobody. Um, Alright. Let's take out this guy's armor as much as we can. Boom! Although, this gives Gun Elf a nice opportunity to actually deal some damage. And he can hit people through other people, which is nice. Oh god, no! Oh my gosh! That's so bad. 
Whose turn is it? Archers? Um, you need to run the fuck away. And slag and burn. Slag and burn. We want to do it here so that it hits this guy, but not our own units. Okay. Good. And this guy's going to take some damage, I guess. All right, Gunolf, you need to use your special ability. Why can't you use your special ability? There we go. Nice. Please, no. Okay, Irik is just, like, dead. It's <laughs> pretty bad, all things considered. Well, you can kill this guy, so why would we kill this guy who has lower HP? So let's do this. And a smack this guy in the face hole. Boom. Nicely done. Well, it should echo through, right? If we hit this guy. Yeah. So let's attack. We can't attack that guy. We can move up here. And then we can attack that guy. Right? Yeah. I mean, do we really want to do that? Because, like, this guy has 3 HP only. I mean, yeah. So we could... I think armor is a better choice here. Because it'll... Yeah. It'll att echo through all of these uh, other dredge. This guy's probably going to go after Luden. Oh, it's Luden's turn. Okay. Well, in that case, we're going to kill this dude. Yeah. This big dredge, I think, is just going to kill the fuck out of Luden. He can impale him. Like, we need to be right there. But if we can impale him, I think it's a better choice, actually. So we go and we, we use impale on this guy and it pushes him back. Please push him back. Only one tile, but at least, you know, something. Okay. Okay, and this time our archer can actually deal some damage. Which is not bad. Oh, that's... That's nasty. That deflection is pretty pretty awful. Uh, I guess we pick up the kill. Let's move him actually over here and then pick up the kill. Just so that we can get a little bit... Movement done. So that's good. Weapon them out. We're losing on this front of the battle. It's really like we're in a bad spot on that front of the battle, but I think we're gonna have Hakon come in here, finish this guy off. Just attack him, yeah. Take care of him. It's good, good job. Hakon is such an amazing soldier, man. I just he's so good. Yeah. What an amazing guy. He's fantastic. Okay. This guy's damage is low. We need to, I think, probably attack this guy. Or do we go for the armor? I think we go for the armor on this guy, actually. And we'll lower both of their armor. That's... I think that was a bad idea, honestly. Ludin needs to get the fuck out of everywhere. Well, he could probably pick up a kill on this dude, which I think is worthwhile. Yeah. Get the kill. Uh, I'll at least level him up, or help him get stronger in the future. And uh, slag and burn, I think, is going to be a good idea on this dude. We're going to use it right here. And that way, he's going to have to, like, maneuver himself in a very particular way. He's going to have to go down that way. Okay. We're actually doing pretty well, all things considered. So let's go down here, and we can finish this guy off this turn, which is very nice. Oh, no, we can't actually finish him off. I forget, this guy doesn't actually have uh, any willpower bonus. Ludin is dead. That's fine. Uh, Hakon, unfortunately, will not be able to attack. I don't want to walk him through the fire. I guess I'll have him come here, and the next turn we can decide what to do with him. That's fine. Oh, and they're going after this guy. Absolutely fantastic. Well, just pick up the kill. I think it's a better choice. Why? Because just... Finishes off the enemies, gives us a little bit more room to maneuver. Okay, Archer is dead. That's fine. I mean, it's not fine, it's, but it is what it is. Like, I can't really have the Archer not be dead, so... Oh, that's not good. It's okay. Hack on. Comes in like a boss, deals a shitload of damage, and this guy's threat is now... I wouldn't say neutralized, but he's, he's not a danger to anybody anymore. Uh, and we can just slowly take care of him. This guy's gonna come after Gunolf. Gunolf is in a bad shape. He's in a pretty bad spot, actually. Um, yeah. Well, in that case, 
We'll go for the armor. We'll sacrifice Gunolf. He's gonna be dead. That's fine. What are you trying to do? Summon guys? That's okay. I'm gonna just kill him next turn, so it's not really an issue. Yeah, hack on. Just get the kill. Good job. Gunolf is dead. I mean, he's, he's dead anyways, but... He's, like, super dead. I should not have moved this guy here. I regret my decision immediately, but... We'll get the kill. That's fine. Pillage mode. Yeah, Gunolf is dead. So, not an issue. Particularly. We'll end our turn. This guy is the only real threat left anymore. And... We should knock out his armor. Yeah. Deal as much armor damage as possible, and then Hakon can come in and deal the HP damage. Which is uh, probably the strategy I'm going to go for here. And it should work out. Sundering Impact, again, I don't know how useful that really is. It doesn't deal a lot of damage, so we're just going to go for the health here. And we'll kill him instantaneously. Very good. Not Well, not very good. Like, every battle, I just keep losing people. I don't know if you're supposed to lose people, but it, there doesn't seem to be that much of a downside to it, so who cares? 